Greetings, good people, and welcome to Black Comic Characters. Thank you for joining us on our official first content video on YouTube. We truly appreciate you taking out the time to watch or listen. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe to us if you want to see more interesting content. Remember to hit the notification bell as well. We comic book collectors often hearken back to the early years of our Cape Crusading comic history to what we call the Golden Age of Comics. The time period of the Golden Age generally runs from the late 1930s until the late 1940s or early 1950s. This is when you get the creation of Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, later to be known as Shazam, Captain America, Submariner, and the Human Torch. They were incredibly popular, selling millions of issues worldwide. However, there is another side to the Golden Age of comics that is often overlooked. This time period was in a turbulent time for black people in the United States and around the world for that matter. When you focus on the images in the media at the time, the images of black people were marred by racism and prejudice. Unfortunately, the brilliance of Charles Drew, the father of the blood bank, the business acumen of Annie Turnbull Malone, the first black female millionaire, and so many others would be overwhelmingly ignored. All the ownership of the major forms of media were controlled by European and European Americans. In this time period, the portrayal of black people was overwhelmingly stereotypical and negative. We are speaking of thousands and thousands of images in what we now call Black Americana. Advertisements, household items, movies, and other mediums wrongly portrayed black men and women as subservient, lazy, loud, unintelligent, and criminal. Unfortunately, these images also found their way directly into the comic book format as well. The first known comic book that featured a black person on the cover was More Fun Comics No. 18, published in 1937 by DC Comics. The book featured a stereotyped black woman being fished out of the ice. Funny Picture Stories No. 7, published by Comic Magazine Company, was the second cover to have black characters, though they too were stereotypical. One of the first named black characters in comic history was Lothar from Mandrake the Magician No. 1, published around 1935 by King Comics. While Mandrake the Magician was a newspaper comic, it was later published as a comic book. Lothar is the sidekick to Mandrake. It's said that when the book was first published, Lothar was the stereotype of an African, donning leopard skin cloth and not speaking correct English. He had supernatural strength and used it to aid Mandrake. In 1939, Best Comics No. 1 is to be noted because it featured the first known non-stereotypical black hero called the Red Mask. On the cover, he is shown protecting a white woman from a white male villain. Even the more famous comics of the Golden Age would include these stereotypes of black people. In Captain America No. 9, published in 1941, we are introduced to a character called the Black Talon, who originally was a painter whose hand was mangled in an accident and had it replaced with that of a black murderer on death row who was executed for his crimes. The story is that the blood tainted the artist and turned him evil, only to be stopped by Captain America and Bucky. In the same year, on Captain Marvel number 23, the cover shows Captain Marvel aiming a cannon of a ship at an enemy, with his stereotypical sidekick Steamboat hitting the bottom of the cannon to fire it. Young Allies number 9 introduces a stereotypical black character called Whitewash Jones, who has no true usefulness to the group of white individuals who each has a unique talent. His talent is playing the harmonica. In a Superman comic around 1944, the cover shows Superman saving a young white man who was cooking in a large pot with a stereotypical African man watching the pot. It was in the mid-1940s when the stereotypes of black characters began slowly to diminish. Around this time was the end of World War II when soldiers were returned to the U.S. Black soldiers still wouldn't really be recognized until many years later, such as the famed Tuskegee Airmen whose talented pilots helped bring the war to an end. Even with their brave efforts, many black soldiers came back to a country that still hated them. But 
In comics, the black character would begin to see slow changes that portrayed them more as actual human beings. Around 1945, DC produced World's Finest No. 17, which included a story about black soldiers who fought in World War II. Shortly afterwards, Challenger Comics No. 1 was published. It depicted a white man, a black man, and a Hispanic man fighting off creatures that had the words hate and fear inscribed on them. This was a very forthcoming publication as it was a direct call against discrimination and prejudice. Also, in 1945, we are introduced to Vuda in Crown Comics No. 3. Even though he was a jungle-themed character, he was one of the few first black non-stereotypical heroes to be featured in a comic book. In 1946, Picture News No. 6 was the first cover to feature a black celebrity, the incomparable boxer Joe Lewis. Then, in 1947, All Negro Comics is produced by Oren C. Evans. This is the first known comic book produced by black people in history. It included four stories that portrayed black men and women in a more positive light. One of the stories included Lion Man, who can be considered one of the very first black heroes. Also, in 1947, Negro Heroes No. 1 and 2 were published, which depicted the life stories of famous black Americans like Booker T. Washington and Jackie Robinson, who had just broken the color barrier in Major League Baseball. In the early 1950s, the superhero comic genre began to decline, but other genres cropped back into the forefront of the comic book world. Romance, horror, suspense, and others began to be printed to fill the void. One of the more famous comics featuring black men and women was Negro Romance, published in 1950 by Fawcett Publications. This comic just ran for three issues, but it was the first that showed realistic black characters in the romance genre of comics. In 1951, Detective Comics No. 167 was Batman's first comic to feature a black character on the cover. It was Cleopatra, when Batman and Robin are sent back in time. During the same year, King Solomon's Minds was published by Avon Publications, which subtly portrayed an interracial love with a battle between a white man and a black man vying for the heart of a black woman. During this time, EC Comics had been a major publisher of science fiction, fantasy, and horror comics. Originally, they had released a story in Weird Fantasy No. 18 that dealt directly with race relations. EC was brilliant with his anti-prejudice story, but during the next age of comics, the Silver Age, it would also prove to be the subject of an upcoming battle. During the final years of the Golden Age, around 1954, Atlas Comics, which would later become the publisher that we all know and love, Marvel Comics, published Jungle Tales, who had a section in it that told the stories of Prince Waku of the Bantu. Waku was a significant character as a black man heading his own story without stereotypical characteristics. Also, during the Golden Age is where we are introduced to the first known successful black comic artist, Matt Baker, who worked on several issues of several comics. So this is a brief history of black comic characters during the golden age of comics. The end of World War II prompted comic publishers to begin to turn the page of stereotypical characteristics of characters and actually begin to draw inspiration from actual black characteristics. It would not be until the Silver Age when black superheroes would jump into the forefront of our imagination. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button below. And if you want to see more on black comic characters, please make sure you hit the subscribe button to catch all the videos we will release in the future. Again, thank you very much for watching the video, and we shall see you next time. Peace.